Welcome back to our repose facade assignment. In our last assignment, we traced over our drawing like that to create an indentation, a line drawing on the front of our repose plate. All right. If we look at my previous example here, you can see how the, the metal has been really bent and shaped. Some of it pushed out pretty extremely. Some of it pushed back in extremely. Some of it left very lightly drawn on. And today what we're going to do is we're going to uh, continue tooling the foil of our repose plate to have a more three-dimensionally formed surface. So as you're working today, you're going to be thinking about how hard do you push in or how hard do you maybe flip your whole thing over and push back out, all right? Because we want to have some pieces that you've pushed in all the way up and some pieces that maybe are just left normal, some that are pushed out just a little bit, and then maybe some that have been pushed back down in. <clears throat> so as you do that, please think of the following things. Make sure you're thinking of the lines and how you're using line in your composition. Also think about how you're using the shapes, whether they're windows or doors or something else, um, and using those shapes or lines to create some balance and variety in your picture. Okay, So if it helps, you can keep the drawing right here and just flip it up. Um, if you need to take that off, just gently peel it off like so. And at this point, I would like you to take your um, artwork and write on the back of it. Decide which side is the back of it. And you're just going to write your name. I'm going to write Mr. Lundgren. And notice that I'm using a Sharpie. Okay, the Sharpie will stick fairly well, whereas like a pencil or whatever won't. And then write your grade number and write your teacher's name depending on which class you're in. All right, then flip your metal foil back over and begin to work. This is where the hard work starts because you have to start making some decisions. What do you want pointing out? What do you want pushing in? Right now I can already tell you I want these conical shapes up here to be pressing out. So I'm going to get started on that. Since I've got my name on the back and I want these pushing up, I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to gently start pushing on the other side. So like right here, I'm going to take my tool, I'm going to take the pointy end of my tool, and I'm going to just ever so gently start pushing out. I'm almost, it's almost like I'm sketching with a pencil. I'm pushing gently. Don't press hard at first. You want to push gently. How do you want to push? That's right, gently. If you go too fast, you're going to poke right through your metal or you're going to rip the metal. You just want to go very slowly, pushing slowly. And as you push slowly, just moving your stylus back and forth a little bit <clears throat> to create that bended out form. So if I flip this over now, you can see that this piece here um, is a little bent out as compared to this piece. All right, and sorry for the light, it is kind of difficult to get it so that the light shines on here properly because it's such a reflective metal surface. Um, <clears throat> but you can see that those pieces look different. Now, likewise, I'm going to take this line that I already put on here and I'm going to just enhance that by again tracing over the top of it like that. <clears throat> and I'm going to draw this line back in there so I have a nice crisp edge. Okay, and you can kind of see that now how it's poking out more. Now I'm going to go back and flip it over again. This is the back because there's my name, right? So part of the process that we're doing here is deciding which way you're going to need to press your metal. Are you pressing it from the back? Are you pressing it from the front? How hard are you pressing it? And I can't tell you the right answer, and there is no right answer everybody's is going to look different because everybody chose to do a different building and everyone is going to be different because you might have chosen to do a building that needs to be pushed out differently than somebody else's all right so i can't give you the right answer you have to make it up now here i'm going to again press the edge right there 
to kind of define that part. So what I'm doing is I'm almost pressing this sky, the background, in. Notice how I'm using the side, not the point. I'm using the side here to press this metal down so that um, <clears throat> so that it's more flat and going that back down in rather than using the point. All right, and this might scratch the metal ever so slightly, so just be thoughtful about how you do it. Be careful, be gentle, go slow rather than too fast. And now you can really see uh, just because of the light how this area is lighter on top and it's darker on the sides that's because the metal is actually curving all right and as you go through you're gonna have to make different decisions like right here I want this window to get pressed back in so I'm gonna have to gently reverse the metal there and then if I flip it over I can gently push this other side back so that window has a pretty clear recess into it um, and this is just going slow and being careful so there that window is really pressed in okay and if I continue I want this little stand to be pressed out as well so I'm gonna press that out and I'm just going to go slow again. I'm going to use my the tip of my tool and just gently, ever so gently, go over the metal, pressing it to make the metal move and press outward. Now, it's going to take a while to do this whole sheet and do every little inch of it and make it look exactly like I want it to look. So I'm not going to make an entire video of me doing this, okay? What I'll do is I'm going to stop here and I'll make a video without me talking so we can just fast forward and you can see me work, but you don't have to watch the entire video slow motion. So basic things are you are creating a form, a three-dimensional surface. If you look at it in a cross section, some pieces will be poked up some pieces will be poked back down in some pieces will be just left as they originally were okay thinking of how you're using the line in your picture to show space to show repetition and then how you're using shape to create your pattern and how you're using both line and shape to create balance and variety in your picture okay that all being said, you're going to work on tooling the foil until you've got a very high relief and low relief of a sculptural three-dimensional form.